Hey guys, Alexandria here and welcome back to the channel. If this is your very first time here, I just want to say welcome to you. Thank you so much for coming by and I hope you will click that subscribe button down below so you can check out more videos like today if you do enjoy lots of fun beauty content as well as occasional fashion content at least once a month. Um, yeah, so be sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure that you leave me a comment so that you are eligible for subscriber comment of the week. Um, and I decided that I would do that on Sundays. So you guys just saw in last Sundays uh, my comment of the week. So be sure to comment so you could potentially be the comment of the week for Sunday's video. So today I did want to share with you my Savora VIB sale haul. I did not buy a ton this year. Um, I did place a like a small second order. But I'll explain what's in that, and then when I do a follow-up haul, um, I can kind of sh show you in person. Uh, most of it was stuff that I realized I ran out of that I totally didn't even realize, and things like that. So, if you want to see the haul, let's jump in. All right, my friends. So, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, I'm about to forget something. Already. The video hasn't even started yet. Okay, so I have everything in front of me except for the things that I ordered that just shipped like today. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. So I picked up a few makeup items. We will start with those and then mostly like skincare stuff. Um, so the first thing I did pick up is the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect, um, the matte setting powder. Um, I really like this so far. I have tried most of the stuff in this box. So far, so good. I do like it. I have it on today, but I have on um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, so that's probably not the best representation um, of the finish because it's already a matte foundation. But so far, I really do like this. It smells nice. I was a little worried that it was going to break me out, but it doesn't seem to have because I have sensitive skin. Um, it doesn't seem to have broken me out, so so far, so good on this. Again, follow-up haul to come on Full Thoughts. Uh, other makeup things. Um, I also did, I actually bought this in the store. This is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. These things are so tiny. But when I saw this, I kind of thought, hmm, that could be really nice for like traveling. That was my like initial thought. But I don't know why I bought this. Like, I don't need more like this. Hell, I haven't even used, I barely touched the other Huda palette that I bought a couple weeks ago. I don't know why I bought this. But it is cute. Um, I've only worn it once on my eyes, so I don't really have full thoughts yet, but I did pick that up at the sale. Let's see. Next up, I picked up a couple of lip glosses. I don't know why I'm showing you the box. That's not helpful. I picked up the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Love Drunk. This is like a mauve lip gloss. I do have it on today over um, Dose of Color Stone. Um, I have, I don't know why I'm about to call it Mac. A dose of color stone and then this over top of it to give it some shine and so far as I pee okay hopefully that wasn't there at all the time um so far I really enjoy this gloss formula I'd like it better if it's not my teeth um so far I enjoy this gloss formula it's the same formula as the other glosses that I enjoy so I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one I also picked up the Feelin' Fine um, from ColourPop, the Ultra Glossy Lip Collection. This has those three limited edition, Lazy, Fairy Me, and Obviously. And the reason I picked this up is because they called these duochrome glosses. And um, here's the like set of three right here. They called these duochrome glosses. And say it with me, if you've been watching my videos, you wanted to find a duo for the ColourPop Glow Gloss. Um, yes, I want to find a dupe for the ColourPop Blue Gloss, and guess what? When you mix two of these together, there is a dupe, so that makes me happy that I picked this up. It makes me sad that I had to spend that much money to find a dupe, but at least I have a dupe from ColourPop, because I really like this lip gloss. Okay, um, what else makeup-wise? Okay, so this is probably my, this is definitely my favorite of the makeup purchases. This is the Viseart Theory Palette, but this is the amethyst i do have this on my eyes today um it's just it's just the most beautiful purple i mean i have it on my eyes it just it's actually purple which is really hard a lot of brands try purple but purple is just a hard color 
Um, so I have all of the mattes on and then this middle shade right here as my shimmer shade and then this one in the inner corner as my highlight. Um, just overall really pretty. The interesting thing about these two right here is in the pan they look um, they look more like of a brown color but when you shear them out on, like when you build them up on the eyes like this is what I have like in the inner part right here oddly enough somehow these like build to a light purple which I don't really understand because they don't seem to have purple undertones but they totally do it's so bizarre but anyway so so far this is like an instant hit for me I've been wanting this for a while if you like purple this is awesome um, other makeup, the only other makeup I bought, I bought just a little bit ago. Um, well, isn't here. Um, <clears throat> okay, so next thing that I got, this I haven't even opened and I may not open because I'm not sure I'm going to need it. This is the Murad Acne Control Post Spot Lightning Gel. Um, I bought this in case the other thing I bought didn't work, which it seems to be working, TBD. Um, so I did buy this, but I'll probably return it. Um, I also picked up this little set here. This was the um, the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Sisa Pear. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, collection set. So it was just like a sampler of the different products um, from this line. And what I was most curious about was the serum. So just kind of to show you. Um, you got like a sample of the serum, which I've been trying. And so far, I think I like it. Um, the Tiger Grass Repair Serum. Then you get um, like a smaller size of the color correcting treatment. I don't think this is particularly special. It's just fine. Um, and then the other products in here I have not tried. Let's see. Let's make sure. Um, the Tiger Grass Cream um, I have not yet tried. And then you um, it came with two of their little, no, three, I'm sorry, three of their nightly repair masks. So a nice little sampler set if you've been curious about it. Um, I bought it because I was hoping that it would repair the dark spots from my acne. Um, but I wasn't sure. So that's kind of why I bought the Murad as a backup um, in case, you know, that didn't work out. So that's that little set. Um, I did also pick up, um, let's see, uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, I also picked up this. This is the Corez 3D Sculpting, Lifting, and Firming Eye Serum in Black Pine. So here's what the bottle looks like, and here is the box. Um, I did pick this up. It got good reviews. It's got like a little almost looks like a little syringe. So far, I do really like this. I actually think it might be helping. So I've mentioned this before. I don't really like to mention it because then you guys are like looking for it. Um, this eye is slightly more droopy than this one. One of them is. I think it's this one. Um, and so one is slightly more hooded and this seems to be helping with that. So that makes me super duper happy. But again, full reviews on this stuff coming your way in the near future. Um, last things I did want to share with you is the stuff that I that isn't here yet. Um, I picked up my Marc Jacobs liner because literally on Friday when the sales started, I went to use I went to twist up my black liner and realized that it wouldn't twist up. I was like, okie dokie, that means we need a new one. So I did buy new of my Marc Jacobs liner. I still have a little bit of the brown one left, but the black is completely gone. Um, I ordered that and then I did go ahead and order the full size of the Tiger Grass uh, Repair Serum um, because it seems to be working. So um, there's that. And then the only other thing I ordered was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Collection, the little mini of Mood Exposure because that's a blush that I've really always wanted to try, but I knew I didn't need a full size. So it came in a mini and I ordered the mini. And that is going to do it for this uh, Sephora VIB sale haul for this year. I have no intention of placing any more orders. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Again, be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out 
on the rehaul or the haul update or whatever the heck you want to call this um, after I've had a bit more of a chance to play with the products. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to comment down below so you can be eligible for subscriber comment of the week. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.